the reason we need Everglades restoration is to provide solutions to get us out of scenarios like we're in today, where you had a massive hurricane end of last year that put a ton of water into the system. And even through these extremely hot Southwest Florida days, Chris Whitman, co-founder of the nonprofit Captains for Clean Water, says Lake Okeechobee water levels are high and experiencing harmful algae blooms like these. Excessive heat in water bodies, it can, it can exacerbate uh, blue-green algae blooms like what we've seen on Lake Okeechobee. And in the middle of the rainy season, Whitman says that could mean future Lake O water releases down into southwest Florida, causing blooms along our coastline. Once we get into that scenario without the tools to get out of it, we're, we're basically left with hoping. So Monday, Whitman hosted a community meeting here at the Lee County Sheriff's Office for people like Doreen. The thing that Florida has that, that nobody else has is the beauty of its water, the nature, the fishing. Asking them to support the ongoing efforts to send the majority of Lake O water releases to the Everglades. It's called Everglades Restoration, and Whitman says half of the project are either completed or have broken ground, but more is needed. The public and the stakeholders who are impacted by water quality have gotten involved, has used their voice and say, we need to fund this suite of projects. We need to complete Everglades restoration. It's Allowing, as Whitman says, Lake O to send at least three times more water to the south than they already do. Helping preserve Southwest Florida communities. Not to be able to go to the beach because of the foul smell. And all those who live or depend on our waterways. I think it's important for them to understand what the actual baseline is um, and how water quality issues cripple our communities, you know, more than anything. In Estero, Colton Chavez, Fox 4.